after. Uh, so, so how do you how do you deal with failure and 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 this pressure and and that 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 voice that talks when it's quiet? <laughs> it gets really loud sometimes. Sure. <laughs> um, so, basically, you know, I it it is a mindset thing because what what I had to do is there's going to be so many places in your life where you do have little failures and bigness. Uh, business can be a really big one and even in the short period of time that I've that I've been doing this I've had a lot of you know what I would consider to be failures you know personally and it's like but the thing about failure is that it it gives it actually gives you an opportunity to learn something new something that you can't be taught you can't you can't be taught the things that you learn from failing at anything you cannot some no one can just tell you what it is what it's like right? right so you could go into business realizing that you you almost want to fail in certain aspects you want to have those those you know failures or whatever because they're going to make you into the person that you need to be you know whether it's a business in a business uh way or or a personal way like my personal life has has changed so much since starting this business and mm -hmm. that's just because i had to you know, your people skills just change and like, you just have to, you learn how to communicate with people and that's just, that overflows into so many aspects. So yeah, like I do fail and I fail still now, but like it, it wakes you up from any kind of complacency. And that's the, that's the main issue with people that want to become entrepreneurs is, is why they can't tip is because of that complacency. Right. They, they won't go out on a limb because it's risky. You know, it's risky to do this, to start a business, but that's when really cool things start happening. So don't be afraid to fail. You want, you want to, if you're not failing, then you're not, something's not right. <laughs> it's like, I mean, that sounds so weird, but I, I promise you, <laughs> if you want to grow, then have some great takes. Like, like put yeah. yourself over the flame a little bit. Trial by fire. Like, that's how... That's how I've always learned and throughout this business, like I've, I've learned so much from that. Just throw yourself into it if you're thinking about it. I agree. Um, there, there's so much that if you're not failing, then there's so much more that you need to learn, you know? Um, and, and that's how you learn things. That's how you, you adapt. That's how you're able to maneuver. That's how you're able to be ahead of the curve. Uh, by accounting these failures and not wanting to account them or similar ones again, right? So you get better at like, you know what, man? I'm not going to lose on that one again. That one hurt. I'm not going to lose again, you know? Um, I think uh, another thing I see with uh, construction entrepreneurs that I wanted to ask you about is, uh, is motivation, you know? Sometimes we wake up unmotivated, right? maybe even by these failures or, or maybe even by just the, 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 the task of growing, right? The task of, 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 of getting to the next level. And sometimes you just like, you, you have no one to, to, to motivate you. So you need self-motivation. Like, how do you stay motivated, yeah. man? Um, in this. Yeah. I mean, like even today I was, I was, I had that feeling, you know, that feeling of just like, man, like, just feels like the world is on top of you, you know what I mean? And, and, but what you have to, you have to realize what that is, you know, Ooh. because motivation, motivation, that feeling of being motivated, it's not, it's not anything real. Like that's, that, that's just a, it's just a feeling like it's, a, it's good. Motivation is a great. That's true, man. David, do you, that is <laughs> go ahead go ahead man like here's the thing like when you're motivated you want to go and you want to get this thing done and then when you hit that first obstacle it's just like oh. like your motivation is unpredictable you can't really control that so what you have to realize is what like let's let's put motivation to the side what is why are you doing this like what's the most important thing like for mm. me when I, I lose my motivation I have to just kind of step back and be like, okay, like, why am I even doing this right now? Like, because sometimes I question, you know, like, 
I don't really want to be doing this. Like, this isn't fun anymore or whatever. <laughs> like, but that, that feeling, that feeling, of motive, it's just an emotion. So like people, people are just so emotional with their decision making that if you want to be an entrepreneur and you want to be a business owner, you have to just remember what, lo- you have to think through it logically. Like, why am I doing this? You know, or think about like, if I don't do this, you know, what, what am I scared of that's going to push me beyond this point? Like, you know, if, if I don't do this thing, um, a lot of times we'll get into I'm trying to, trying to connect this point. <laughs> like we want, we want, we're, we're, if you think about what you do not want in life and you make that like every time that you start slipping, okay, like, the the pain of having to go through that is going mm. to be way worse than the pain of keeping going right now because i know you can you have to be able to see what you're what you're you know working for and i think that 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 kind of ties into having goals like you need to have some sort of goal for your company or for who you are and like i think one of the weird things is like one of the things that really helped me with the personal development side of it this year like because i just think that you have a successful business, you have to be personally developing. Like, yeah. it's just how it is. But like, you gotta, you gotta have some kind of goal for your life. Like, what do you want? And then structure those steps, you know? And, and if, if being a construction entrepreneur is part of that, if that is part of it, like, and you already have those skills, like, it's just a gateway to that thing. You don't even necessarily need to absolutely 100 percent love what you do all the time right but but have that goal you know so that you can see where you're going to be going and and then you'll you'll be able to just you know it won't matter if you're motivated one day or the next because you can always just be like you can always think through it like yeah i don't feel like getting up today and and going to work but but like i know what that's going to do for me and i want that right thing right in the future so Right. You got to think long term because everyone is thinking instant, you know. I agree. I agree. You know, one of my challenges that I um, last year, that it was two challenges that I was facing last year. One, I was able to recognize that I was having anxiety attacks. Last year, I was having anxiety attacks. Didn't even know what anxiety was. Didn't even know. I, because as, as, a, as an entrepreneur, you put stress aside. Right. You're like, I'm not I'm not stressing. I'm just dealing with the operations. Right. I, I, I don't have no issues. So you throw it to the side. And another thing I was um, anxiety. And then um, um, another thing I was dealing with was not giving things enough time to mature. Right. I all because as a as an entrepreneur, a lot of times we got a wandering eye. Right. Everything is an opportunity to <laughs> <No>. <laughs> right? like you just told me about uh the uh, the company you're gonna invest in, right? But yeah. a lot of times like we always see opportunity, right? Always. It's a sickness. And, and, and now I'm I'm noticing that when I do see this opportunity, because sometimes, like you said, we want it fast, we want it now, you gotta give it time to mature. You got to yes. give it time to grow, right? You do. You, 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 and have it for the long run. Because if you're in the short game, this thing is not going to work out. It's not. No. no. It, it, it's, it's just not. You know, you're going to get burned out. And you're going you're gonna to find yourself doing this. Jump, 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 jump. And at the end, you're not going to have anything to hold on to. No. You know? <laughs> so, um um uh, do no, you I think really, huh? that resonates that resonates with me a lot for sure do you do you think as uh entrepreneurs we have a wandering eye or do yourself have a wandering eye as far as opportunities and <laughs> <laughs> i can't <laughs> i don't even think i can lie about that. like yeah like i mean at any given time i could be like in, in, like I could be a hundred percent interested in five different things. <laughs> 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 oh, then I'm gonna do this, 
and then like, oh, we should like, I want to partner here. And then we're gonna <laughs> yeah, no, I, I know. It, it, it's, it's, it really is a crazy, crazy thing. Um, <laughs> it's, I will say something about this. I, for me, I think a lot of entrepreneurs do struggle with this too. I'm not, I'm not a doctor or diagnosing anyone with this, <laughs> but, but um, ADHD is something that I got diagnosed with just, just recently, but it makes okay. so much sense. And, the, and what ADHD is, and the reason why it's so diagnosed nowadays and, and maybe even misdiagnosed, it's a lack of dopamine. I don't know if this is the right place to share this. No, no, it is. I mean, because you, you're you going to hit someone that's dealing with this, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So one thing that I learned that has helped me, like, immensely is is understanding ADHD and basically why it happens. So the, the main reason why people struggle with ADHD is because they lack dopamine. And look, dopamine is is that feeling, that feeling of motivation. Right. It's that feeling of like of like excitement like oh, i want to do this thing like it's it, it it motivates us to to want to keep going so people who don't have it this is why people with adhd are really good can be really good entrepreneurs because they can hyper perform if they're not used if if they don't have as much dopamine as the average person and they get a bunch of it from that thing it's just like oh man it feels like drugs to them you know it's just like right. i gotta get this right. thing i gotta get this thing and then when they don't have it you know, and they're, they're going through a slump. It's like, I'm hitting a wall big time. And wow. that's why you, you got to think through it because like you, you're not always going to, it's, li it's literally a chemical imbalance it is, is, is what causes it um, physically. But there are things that you can do to, to help that. And, you know, if, if you think that that, you know, sounds like you, yeah, I'd recommend seeing a, you know, a psychologist or a doctor or something, but um, because I'm not going to diagnose people. Right. But, you, <laughs> but it is. I mean, it seems like with you finding that information now, it has helped you 